Welcome, Cheryl. All right, welcome everyone. So let's go ahead and start down in child's pose. Take a minute here just to stretch through the arms. Your knees can be together, your knees can be apart, whatever feels best to you. Welcome, Linda R. Take a couple of breaths. So we do end up doing about 10 sun salutations by the end of class, but remember, instead of taking the sun salutation, the forward fold, the plank, the down dog, you can always stay standing and take a lunge, squat, squat or lunge, lunge, squat, rather. Uh, take one more breath. So everything we do here today, I'll try my best to give you standing options. Um, every once in a while, there's a move where I just kind of like freeze. I can't, <laughs> I can't think of a standing option. You can always do a move of your choice. From here, when you're ready, come on up to all fours. We're gonna take cat-cow, so you could even be doing cat-cow standing. So as you inhale, drop the belly, Exhale, round up through cat. If you wanted to be in standing on cat cow, hands would be on the quads. Inhale through your cow and exhale through your cat here. So you could stay standing for just about everything. All right, welcome Kelsey, welcome Amy, welcome Lindsay, Karina, Kristen, Cheryl, welcome Christina. We got a couple of Christinas in the house, I believe. Uh, or Kristen, sorry, Kristen and Christina. Welcome Casey, welcome Linda R, welcome Pam, welcome Sarah. Couple of more cat cows, taking our time to warm up the spine, warm up the breath. And then as you round up through your cat this next time, find the toes, curl them under, pressing up to downward facing dog. This is where you could press back off a wall or a chair if you're choosing not to be on the floor. Drive your tailbone high to the sky. Walk your dog out here. So pedaling out, lifting and lowering your heels, rolling up through the toes. Welcome, Heather. Nice stretch through the bottoms of the feet. And then bending both knees, lift the heels, begin to walk the feet up to the hands into your forward fold. If you're not hanging completely upside down, remember again, you could be pushing off a chair or your hands could be supported on your quads. Maybe a little sway side to side. And then we find our way center. We all lift halfway. A little bend of the knees so we can bring ourselves all the way up to the stand. And exhale, hands to your heart. So this is where we'll do our vinyasa three times. If you would like to stay standing, you're just gonna lunge, lunge, squat through it all. Otherwise, big inhale, arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step back into your plank. From your plank, you can take your chaturanga down and through, or you can press straight to down dog from there. We all meet in downward facing dog. Here's our little add-on piece. We step forward with our right foot. Open our right arm, so a little groin or twist. Right hand comes down, step back, down dog. Step forward, left foot, open left arm, groin or twist the other way. Step back, down dog. From here, walk, step, or take your little float of the feet forward. Lift halfway, fold, rise all the way to the top. Let's do that two more times, or lunge, lunge, squatting. Exhale, fold. Half lift. Step back, plank. Right? You can begin to go through in your pace, up dog or cobra. Up dog means quads are lifted. Here comes our forward low lunge groiner. Right arm opens. Nice, excellent. And stepping forward, left foot, left arm opens. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Welcome, Ellen. Welcome, Megan. From your down dog, we all walk, step, or hop forward. Inhale, lift, and then rising all the way up. One more time through all of that big exhale, fold. Remember, you can stay standing for all of this, lunge, lunge, squat, or doing your sun salutation off the wall. As you come into your plank, you can go straight to down dog or take, take the vinyasa, the chaturanga through. Into our step through lunge groiner, twisting right, excellent. Stepping through, twisting left, stepping back, 
into your downward facing dog. All right, official move number one. We're coming from a down dog to a tricep push-up into plank jack. So if you're standing, push-ups on the wall, regular lower high impact jack. So on the floor, he would come forward. Three tricep push-ups, knees or toes. And then staying in your plank, four jacks out and in. You can tap one leg at a time or you can double. Press back down dog. We do it again. Plank. Three tricep push-ups. I can drop to my knees. And then my tapping, I tap or jack out. Four taps. Down dog. Do it again, right? If I'm choosing to stay standing, my tricep push-ups on the wall. And then lower high, four jacks. Tricep push-ups on the wall. Lower high, four jacks. Right, or down here on the ground, moving at your pace, right? Some of you might do five sets, some of you might do four sets, some of you might do six sets. No worries. Three tricep push ups, four plank jacks, knowing that you can skip any part of this that you want. If the push up doesn't work, maybe you just hold the plank and do the jacks. You got it right here. Finish one more set through. So your push ups, your jacks will meet in our down dog. When I see just about everybody in down dog, we'll move on from there. Remember your down dog could be pushing off the wall, standing off a chair. Nice. From our down dog, we walk, step or float our feet all the way forward, rising up all the way to stand, coming through our vinyasa or our lunge, lunge, squat. Stepping back, plank, chaturanga down, or you can skip this part going to down dog. From our down dog, our groin or lunge open. Moving a little bit at your pace, we will always meet up in down dog here. And then from here, we're coming into a new move. So we'll walk, step or hop our feet forward, grab our weights and rise on up. We're gonna alternate sides. So left leg will come up, three little one leg squats, three, two, one, left knee comes forward, three bicep curls, switch sides, three little one leg squats, now you squat down as low as you can, three curls, alternating sides, now, on our little warrior one leg squat, that back toe could be tapped down on the ground very lightly for balance. And on your bicep curls, you could keep your front toe tapped down. And we keep alternating side to side. Yeah, it looks great, Heather. Awesome. Cheryl, Kristen, Linda R. Excellent, Daryl. You got it, Karina, Lindsay. Welcome, Jen. Nice, Amy. Perfect. So we want to kind of start to even ourselves out. So if you just started around, do each leg. If you're kind of finishing around, finish up. Because when you are complete, when you're even on each side, we'll meet here in a chair. Right? So if you finish before someone else, you just get to hold this awesome chair pose. How low down can you hold it? Squeezing your glutes, squeezing your thighs. And then when I see just about everybody in the chair, we'll come down for our down dog tricep push-ups. Nice. Ah, oh, excellent. Hang on to it. Everybody's almost there. We got a couple people finishing up. Nice. From here, set your weights to the side. Step back into your down dog. This is our three tricep push-ups into our plank jack. I can tap my jacks, one, two, three, four, or I can pop them in and out four times. Three tricep push-ups, knees or toes. Remember the wall works great. I can do every bit of this at the wall. So my three tricep push-ups at the wall, higher low impact jacks. You've got lots of options here. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. And definitely take those standing options. All right, keep going. Let's go through one more round of this. 
So when you finish three tricep push-ups, four plank jacks, we'll meet in our downward facing dog. So don't rush, we're gonna wait for you. If we get there first, we're just gonna hold down dog. Now, of course, you could always come to child's pose or cat cow if you wanted a break. Other ways, when I see just about everybody in down dog. Nice, from here, we're going through our full sun salutation. So walk, step or float the feet forward. Inhale, rising all the way up to stand. Exhale, take it back down. Inhale, lift as you step into your plank. Remember, all this can be done at the wall. Chaturanga your way through, or just skipping that part to down dog. Lots of options. Here's our groiner. So if you're standing, my friends, you're just taking your groiner up high. Right? And then you switch. Nice. We come back into our downward facing dog. New move. We have a beast twist with our donkey kick. So we're going to come down into our beast. Our knees come nice and bent. Hips go to the left. Right arm comes up. Hips go to the right. Left arm comes up. I will show you the standing option in a minute. And then our donkey kicks with or without a jump. So you could jump on your donkey kicks. You could double leg them. On your beast twist through, you could even kick the leg in the air. Right, so you have all these options. If you are standing, my friends, we're taking hand to opposite foot, hand to opposite foot, two back kicks. Hand to foot, hand to foot, two back kicks. Right, so reaching across opposite hand to foot if you're staying standing for everything, two back kicks. If you're on the ground, you have the option to kick the leg through or just raise the arm. Now we get to do every move we do three times, right? So you have plenty of time to kind of figure it all out. Excellent, awesome. So completing your way through one more time, we'll meet in beast. So if you're standing, you're meeting in a low squat. If you're on the floor, those knees are bent or pushed back into beast. Nice. Then from here, we're coming up to a stand. So walk, step, or hop, grabbing your weights, warrior position, three little squat pulses. Knee comes up, bicep curls. If you want to add a front leg extension, you can do that as well. And then switch. Three pulses. Three curls, maybe extending the leg. That is your choice. Switching sides. Now this will bring us to our last time on those down dog push-ups, plank jacks, and it'll bring us to our midway break. So hang on, a few more rounds here. Excellent. Gorgeous. So wherever you are, let's get each side one more time. So if you need to finish and then go into your last set, or if you just started evening yourself out each side one more time. If you get there before everybody, chair squat. We have to go through our down dog plank push-ups, tricep push-ups, plank jacks one more time. And then it will be officially break. Yeah. Can you sink a little lower if you're holding that chair? Woo, it burns a little bit. Nice. All right, everyone's almost here. Three, two, one. Weights down, step back, or you're doing this on the wall. Coming forward, three tricep push-ups. Knees or toes. Four out and in on your jacks. Both legs are single leg, one at a time. All right, my friends, keep it going strong. 20 seconds right here. You'll be halfway and I'll give you a break. Welcome, Anne Marie. Awesome. Looks great. Pam, Ellen, Ann, Megan. You got it, Daryl. We got 12 seconds to go. Linda R., Heather D., nice Amy, Lindsay, Karina. Ah. Oh. Three, two, 
and one. Ah, oh, grab yourself a drink. We are done with that move. No more tricep push-ups, plank jacks. We do still have two moves to go there, both standing moves. So when you're ready, grab your drink, make your way to the front of the mat. We'll start in mountain with our vinyasa, our sun salutation through, or lunge, lunge, squatting. Let's do it. Big inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift as we step back into our plank. Straight to down dog, you're taking your chaturanga through to your up dog or cobra. Stepping through to your groiner, so if you're standing, right, front lunge, open to the front knee. If you're down, right, still front lunging, opening to the front knee, and push back. From here, we walk, step or hop the feet forward, grabbing the weights. Weights are optional. This one really does get into the shoulders. And we're going into standing spider crunches. So alternating side to side crunch. Now this can be done on the ground in a plank position. You could do a spider plank, but I've had you down on the floor for the chaturangas, for the down dog, for the tricep push-ups, for the beast. So I wanted to give you that definite option to take this standing. Anybody wants to take it down to the ground, you can. I won't stop you but we have like a one-sided lap pull as we crunch knee to elbow. You got it right here, 10 seconds to go. Then we are coming back down for our beast or you're gonna stay standing, reaching for opposite foot. And then into your back kicks if you're staying standing. All right, otherwise, if you're coming down, right? Squat down, set the weights to the side. Step back down dog, dropping to your beast. So knees are bent, heels are lift. Twist, kicking the leg through or not. Twist, right? So two twists, two donkey kicks. Two beast twist, two donkey kicks. Now on your donkey kicks, you can double kick both legs at the same time, right? Or we have the options to standing twist, two back kicks. Yes, excellent, Pam. Love it. Christina, Casey, Sarah, Lindsay, or Sarah and Anne Marie. We do have a Lindsay, but I wasn't looking at Lindsay, but you look great too, Lindsay. My, my tongue gets tied. Awesome, my friend. Keep going, about 10 more seconds. So maybe you can make it through one more time, through the whole set one more time. We'll meet in beast. Down in our beast, right here. And then on our inhale, we'll walk step or hop the feet forward. Grabbing your weights, pushing up. Here comes our balancing warrior. Three squats, how low can you go? And then the knee comes through and up. Maybe you just hold the knee, maybe you take the leg extension. With three bicep curls, switch sides. So not a cardio class per se, right? But that heart rate does go up, which is so much movement, standing to the floor, up and down. But remember my friends, just about everything, you can do everything standing. I can usually think of an alternative for just about everything. If I ever freeze and I can't think of something to give you, there's always squats, there's always lunges, there's always biceps curls or tricep push-ups or tricep press backs, right? Tricep overheads. So if I can't think to give you a standing option, right? Go for something that you just know, that you just like. So we only have one more floor move, that beast will have to do one more time. All right, evening yourself out here. So if you're halfway through, get the other side done. If you just started, do both sides. If you just finished, you get to hold a chair with me, right? So you may choose, you're like, I'm gonna do each side one more time just to avoid holding that chair. The last time on this move, last time to just hold this chair. You got it right here. Come on, can we sink a little bit lower? We're going through our vinyasa. We have one new move left to add on. Ah, 
Just a couple of people still going. Come on, hold on to the chair, squeeze the glutes, lift the heart. Whew, I think they're there. Forward fold, coming through, stepping back into your plank. Chaturanga, up dog or cobra. Up dog just means quads aren't touching. Down dog, step through groiner or front lunge. Open twist, step back, left leg. Open twist, downward facing dog. We're coming right back up to stand, grabbing our weights. We've got curtsies, plies, curtsy, plies. So as we curtsy, your weights are gonna be here at your shoulders. As you curtsy, you're gonna overhead press. As you plie, you're gonna upright row. And as you curtsy, overhead press, upright row. Overhead press, upright row. Now option, you don't have to use your arms at all. You could simply hold your arms at your chest and take plie to curtsy. If your legs are extremely sore for whatever reason, you could go overhead press, upright row, overhead press, upright row, using just your upper body. You could also sub in bicep curls or tricep kickbacks instead of overhead presses or upright rows. You got it right here. Nice, 10 more seconds. We have standing spider knee next. And then our very last time to come down for the beast. Three, two, one. Now, if you really want to even yourself out, feel free to do so and then jump in and join us on spider knees. You got it. Crunch, crunch. Now, if that bothers you, sorry, I didn't show you this the first time. You can take these little side plie crunches here. So you could come into a plie and take some side crunches. I kind of like doing this because I'm really always tight right through here. So even though it's work, I get a nice stretch. So that's a good option. Or sticking right here, 15 seconds to go. We're coming down for our last round of beast. And then we have to do a couple of more full vinyasas still. Three, two, one. So lunges and squats or set the weights down, stepping back to your plank, taking your chaturanga down, up dog or cobra, down dog, step forward, groin or open, step back down dog, other leg, groin or open, step back, downward facing dog. All right, here is our last set of those beast twists. So as we squat down here, right, twisting, kicking through on your beast or taking hand to opposite leg on standing, Two back kicks or two donkey kicks, jumping or not, your choice. Lots and lots of options there. I love it. Look at this whole strong crew. Right? We can make this class work for everybody. It's a little bit of an advanced class. There's a lot of up and down. Right? But meet yourself where you are. Maybe you only do three of the vinyasas. Maybe you don't do all of them. Maybe you step in some lunches, some squats. Maybe you've been doing this while. You're like, by golly, finally, I can do all ten vinyasas. You got it, my friends. Keep going right here. Nice. Come through this set one more time. So finish up where you are and then all the way back through one time. We'll meet in squat or in beast position. So squat or beast position. Nice. Or a down dog or a child's pose. From here, we'll walk, step, or hop the feet forward, grabbing those weights, coming up for our curtsy and our plie. Right, so curtsy overhead, plie upright row. It's not about speed. Right, just find a nice rhythm where you can work full range of motion. I'd rather you go a little lower than go a little faster. We have lots of cardio classes here at VFIT. So you can take a cardio class and press your speed here, I want you to work in your range of motion. Now that heart rate's gonna go up. We are gonna get cardio. 
but it's not because we're moving fast necessarily. It's because we're moving big. All right, you got it. Keep it going right here. A few more, a few more. We have our last standing spider crunch coming up. One more vinyasa through and we'll finish with these curtsies. Here we go. Try to complete yourself out here, evening yourself out. Five, four, three, two. If you are still not even, go ahead, even yourself out and let's grab our spider crunches right here. Elbow, elbow, or these side bends. I'm telling you, I love these. Uh, it really does work your obliques, but it feels really nice on your side as well if you're tight. You got it. We still have 30 more seconds of these last rounds. We've got one more vinyasa to go and one more round of curtsies and plies, and then we'll be stretching. Yeah. Awesome, Linda, looks great. Megan, you got it, Pam. Awesome, Ann, Ellen, Kelsey. Oh, this team is on fire. Here we go, five seconds. Five, four, three, two. If you need to be even, give yourself one more. And then here we go, last set of those lunges and squats or coming down into our plank. Chaturanga through. Stepping forward into our groiner or just a front lunge. Back to our downward facing dog. Walk, step or float the feet forward one last time. Grabbing your weights, coming on up. We've got curtsy, overhead, plie, upright row. Curtsy, overhead, plie, upright row. You got it right here, my friends. You've got 45 seconds to the finish line. Then we'll take a couple of minutes to stretch on the stand. Nice, awesome, Karina. You got it, Lindsay. Nice, Jen. Yeah, curtsy to plie. So curtsy, plie, with or without my weights, right? I can do this without weights as well. Plie, upright row, curtsy overhead. Plie upright row, curtsy overhead. Always kind of keeping the arms coming through the center of your body. Here we go, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you're uneven, even yourself out. Oh, you can put those weights down. Whew, take a moment, just kind of dance a little jig, shake it out. Nice work. One heel down, toes up, hinge back. Let's stretch down the back of the body. Keep the chest slightly up. Let the heart rate maybe up a little. Oh, take a couple of breaths. And then we'll just switch that out so we flex the opposite foot. You can change, you can re-step or you can turn to the other side. Nice, walk the feet out, come down into this low plie, right? So we get a stretch, hinge forward, right shoulder drops in, lengthen long through the spine, look over the left shoulder. So nice little twist through our back for all the plank, all the beast. And then come center, we'll drop the left shoulder, long spine, Look over the right. Come center, very slow cat to round up, stretching the back all the way as you come up. Let's get a quick quad stretch. So feel free, hold on, reach down heel to glute. Stretching through the front. The more you open the chest and pull back, the deeper you're gonna get that up through your hip flexor. And switch it out other side. So these are very basic, you know, 15 minute stretches. Join me, 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for a full 15 minutes of Stretch Express. Love to see you there or tonight at Yen. 
And then let's finish with just one last little chest opener. Interlace the hands. Lift and open the heart. Squeeze the glutes. Awesome. Thank you, friends. You did amazing. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all soon, hopefully.